Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, I'm a medical herbalist and the founder of Puhutakawa Health. If you're new here, this is part of a series where I have planned and planted and grown a medicinal garden in my front yard in an urban lot in Saskatchewan, Canada. And I would love for you to follow along. I will leave a playlist down below in the description box. It is uh, early August and we have just gotten back from a holiday and I'm going to take you out into the herb garden today and we are gonna do some harvesting. I'm gonna show you around, show you what's happening. So come along and harvest with me. Okay, so here is the garden. It's definitely filled out a bunch more. I'm doing a voiceover because it was super windy the day that I um, was filming this. Uh, so I've got some a sunflower growing up there on the right hand side. It hasn't flowered yet. And my marshmallow is growing up to hide the ugly lamp post. Um, there is some motherwort. Here is some chamomile, which is doing really, really well. I've got it in a few different spots in the garden and I will definitely be harvesting that today. The lemon balm has not spread as much as I would have hoped, but um, I think I'll plant some a little bit more in the sunny spot next year. The yarrow has been flowering. I've got a bunch of catnip. Catnip has done so well. This is the second time I've already harvested some. I've got a Californian poppy flower, which is really exciting. I didn't know if that was going to come up at all. Um, I've got some borage and it is starting to flower. Here's the big patch of chamomile. Um, I have been harvesting from this all along and yeah, some of this has gone over uh, and it's a bit too late, but hopefully a lot of those will um, self-sow. Here is the borage again. Just like look at how beautiful those little flowers are. They're so pretty. You can totally eat those and put them in salads as well. They look so good on Instagram. Yeah. Okay, so here I've got some wild strawberries that are doing really well as ground cover. They haven't fruited yet. Um, my St. John's wort has come back really beautifully. It hasn't flowered yet either. Um, but again, it'll be, be perennial, some more borage. This is sorrel, which is an edible green and it's doing really well. My nasturtiums are getting chomped by something. I know aphids really like them. So that might be an issue, but it's flowering too. And I have been able to harvest some. Um, these are grindelia, which are doing really, really well. They've grown really beautifully. I haven't, they haven't flowered yet either, but um, again, they, that one is a weed. Uh, what else have I got going on here? I've got some bee balm. A lot of the stuff hasn't flowered, but will be perennial and do well next year. Um, oh, this is kind of funny in amongst my pineapple weed. I've got some volunteer shepherd's purse. Uh, the main identifying feature of shepherd's purse is these little heart shaped seed heads. Um, and we use this plant a lot for heavy menstrual bleeding. So it's not like it's a plant for everybody, but it works really, really well. It's quite a powerful medicine. Um, sedum, which is just like a ground cover that I'm using here. This corner is like a wee bit sad, but again, it's mostly perennial, so they will come back. Okay, have I ranted about how much I'm in love with this mulch? Um, not only were we gone for two weeks and had like intermittent support with watering, but like, look at this. This weed just like comes up so easily because they can't really like get any teeth in here. So weeding is like no big deal. Super, super, super easy. Even for like grasses and stuff like that, just like comes out so good. Anyways, I love mulch. It's really been awesome. Okay, here is my echinacea and I planted this at the same time as the grandelia. They were the same size. So you can see this one's very small and the grandelia is doing much, much better. Um, but I'm they're perennial again, so I'm hopeful that next year they will grow up really nice and big. Um, overall though, I'm pretty happy with how things are looking. Um, yeah, don't mind the rest of my yard. It's kind of a barren wasteland, but we don't talk about that. Let's harvest.
Look at how pretty this marshmallow flower is. I just absolutely love them. Okay guys, here is the final product. I have a bunch of catnip in here. I've got lemon balm. I've got borage, including some beautiful flowers. I've got chamomile. I picked some motherwort as well. And it's a pretty successful day. That is it for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe. I've got lots of content coming out um, on medicinal herbs and ways to use them and things that you can do at home easily by yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye!